poly count but somewhat resembles the same object that we have here as you can see the poly count is enormous here um, usually 3d scans are like this but we're gonna take this and then make it into something that we can actually use so uh, first you're gonna export this as an OBJ you know you come over here you're gonna highlight it first of course and export our selection as an OBJ I've already done this, um, you know, you guys can just name your file, export it, and yeah, it'll be ready to use for another program. So next we're going to come over into ZBrush, and we're going to import our object back into the game, I mean back into this program, sorry. So once it's imported into the program, we're going to put it into our scene as so and oops so I'm just going to drag that out into our scene we're going to come over here and hit edit just so that you know you can edit your object a little bit better rotate it you know see it a little bit better but we're going to frame it by pressing F come over here to our Z plugins and we're going to go to well first let's frame this up on the top of the screen we're going to go to our decimation master this one's currently at 697,000 polygons so that's huge so we're going to maybe bring that down to 0.8 of a, the percentage of what it originally is we're going to set pre-process size is going to take a second right here it's just processing all the data beforehand so once that's done you're going to process it by decimate current uh, 5,000 uh, for the sake of the video I mean you can decimate it to as small as you want but for the sake of the video we're going to just leave it like that at 5,000. Or actually, you know what? Let's decimate this one more time to 50% of what this currently is. Alright, so 2,791. That's a fairly decent number. So now what we're gonna do, as you can see, is we have a lot of, we have all triangles right now. So let's just make those in, all into quads. You're going to come down over here to Geometry and come down to Z Remaster. We're going to have our curve strength all the way down. That way it doesn't compensate for all the edges. And hit Z Remaster. Sorry, that was a text message. It's at 6,951 now, though. Uh, let's, let's try to go for something a little bit better. All right, 3,059. That's pretty decent. And as you can see, now we have all quads. So what we're going to do is come up over here to File. Oh, sorry. Actually thinking that we're in uh, Maya, but we're going to export this. And we'll change this right here to low poly count and export it. So we're going to go back into Maya real quick. And re-import that back into here. See, so now we have our 
high poly count and our low poly count in the exact same scene. So, first off, when we decimated this, the UVs all got destroyed. As you can see here, we have no UV uh, maps for this. So, we can just do automatically unwrap those UVs. Doesn't really matter in this case um, how the UVs are set or placed. But we're going to come over here to rendering, light and shading, transfer maps. If you have your low poly count selected, it should be up here on your target meshes. If not, you can always just remove it, reselect it, you know, object mode, select your low poly count. As you can see, it's uh, heavy on the machine even having both of these in the, in the scene, but we're going to add that, the low poly count one here, and then select our high poly count model and add that to the scene as well. Usually you won't have anything here, but we're just going for the diffuse. You usually want to do a Targa, TJA. And all these other settings you usually want to leave alone. I usually like to have my textures at 1020 by 1020. It's a higher, just a higher uh, texture quality. And sampling at low, and we're, take, we're transferring the world space. So now you want to come up to the top again and make sure that under display you're not, you're not going for mesh, envelope, but both of them. And just make sure that your this uh, pink layer encompasses everything that you can see. So, I mean, you can't really see our model anymore. This is pretty good as is. So we're going to just bake those textures on. All right, so we're back. And as you can see, we now have, oops, we now have an object that resembles fairly similarly to what we had before. So, uh, as you can see, the textures are a little bit brighter, but that's fine. All we really wanted was the textures in the first place. If you see right here, the textures are actually fairly similar in color. The uh, There's just like a gamma on it for some reason. So to get these colors um, more accurate, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and down under textures, under rendering, we're going to go create PDS network. We're going to make sure that our colors are applied and make sure that we're targeting wherever the uh, other textures or where the object is. So um, low poly textures and save that and hit apply. So now we're going to come into Photoshop and open these back up or open up the textures in this program. As you can see, they're right here. And we're just going to come over to Adjustments after you highlight the layer. Brightness and Contrast. And just turn it down. Turn down the brightness a little bit. This is how I found uh, is the best way for compensating for this color. And resave these textures as a JPG. And low poly textures, yep. I'm gonna save it. Come right back into Maya. We're gonna highlight our low poly texture. I in our low poly count model. Assign a new texture of a fong to it. And... Uh, I'm trying to just to highlight this, but it takes a second. We're going to come over here to the color file. 
reapply our logo. Oh, oops. Wrong textures. We're looking for these ones. Right there, like that. And as you can see, we have a model that very much resembles what we had before. The specular is up, so we're just going to turn that down. Since we had this fall. And there you have it. Look at that. Looks fairly similar. You know, if you want to cut out these, the hat, you know, get rid of all this other stuff, you know, you can do that fairly easily. But yeah, that's how I found is that the best way to downgrade a 3D scan into an actual object that we can then use in uh, programs like Unity or Unreal. So now, as you can see, I've imported my the object that we did in uh, Maya. And we can just drag and drop this, this right into the scene, as so. And yeah, program's running absolutely fine. It's a low poly count model. Well, not too low, but you know, for this sake, it's perfectly fine. And as you can see, there's our model right there. Sorry for the skipping. But yeah, there you go right there. Looks nice. It's what we were going for. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful. And remember to like and subscribe.